have to give me a minute, it's a bit of a walk, wasn't it? <laughs> so let me start by saying it's fantastic to be here tonight. I didn't think I was going to make it. It's like a step and everything there, isn't it? <laughs> and uh, I did start to put a suit on and then Dan told me how much we was getting paid. <laughs> and so I'll stop there. Um, it's fantastic to be here at this meat market. I'll take the Cockney, one black one, and the Oxbridge. Um, so, I haven't really got any jokes, to be honest with you. You laugh in the gaps, no one will get hurt. I got a bit worried, I'll be truthful, I got worried, because I was standing out there, I had a little look in, and I know a lot of you are posh, in a school and everything. And I look round, and here and there, there's like little round glasses and big foreheads. I don't know whether you're clever or backward, I don't know, right? <laughs> but it was worrying me, I'm thinking, I hope they ain't expecting me to come out and do clever topical satire and all that. And use clever words like irony and stuff like that. Mind you, that was alright, wasn't it? I'm well pleased with that. I, the irony of that is, I don't know what it means. Now you don't know whether I'm clever or not, do you? I might be, I might not, it's up to me, innit? No, I am thick. <laughs> Not dyslexic, thick. I'm proper. I ain't them trying to get on the bandwagon, do you? See, I missed dyslexia by about two years. You was just a dozy bastard in them days, wasn't you? But at least you knew where you was, didn't you? You stared out the window, you dribbled, it went really quick, didn't it? They were so thick at my school, they used to put you in the same class if you looked like each other. There was only three in my class. Me, me, Aunt Rose and a wheelie bin. <laughs> Posh ones ago, I thought that was quite surreal, actually. <laughs> I can't believe that. I'm so fat, I've got two shadows. <laughs> Come on, you sit indoors and try and think the jokes. <laughs> I don't have to do this, you know, I'm really good at tarmacking. <laughs> now you know where you've seen me, right? Yeah. 300 pound everything, okay? All my family are gypsies. I had to turn it in, the travel sickness messed me right up. <laughs> Joking aside though, is murder when you can't read properly. I saw the sign on the motorway. Tidiness can kill. <laughs> I threw the wrappers all round the car. I was so knackered, I fell asleep. <laughs> Crushed the car. I was eating a kick at the time, said, take a break. <laughs> I ended up on the Gay Pride March. Have a look. I read the Pride Bill, right? I thought it was something to do with Mother's Pride, the bread. I was right at the front, like that. Thicker slices. <laughs> Thicker slices. I thought, hold tight, there's a lot of moustaches about. Shaved it off now, son, haven't you? <laughs> thought I forgot about you. I don't know. Well, that's, at least we won the Olympics, and we what a touch that was. Moscow, Sydney, Tokyo, great big stadiums, Beijing, all done properly. We get our chance. Where's going to be our stadium? Hackney Wick Dog Track. That's exactly where it's going to be. 